Assetto Corsa graphic mod filters. How do you install them? Usually the files come zipped, so you gotta unzip it. Right click, extract here, for example. Now the files are unpacked, you can click on it as well, see if everything is there. You should see like a folder and two files in there. Open up your content manager, you'll see it on the right side over here. If you go into the drive tab in content manager, then you will see a car and a map. Now, if you right click, on either of those then this thing pops up and at the very bottom of it is a folder so that is the easiest way to open up Assetto Corsa folder in your PC click on that and this is where your Assetto Corsa is located on your PC right there and you see this system folder over here now you might notice the system folder is also in the graphics pack as well so what we need to do is drag it into the Assetto Corsa folder if it does ask you to replace then replace all the files so go ahead and do that now in the content manage go into settings then from Assetto Corsa tab, make sure you're on video. Now we need to override the content manager graphics settings. Drop and drag that into the content manager. Apply and save over there. And also boys, I do recommend personally putting the frame rate cap over here. Limit the frame rate and put the frame rate on 60 actually. But all the settings pretty much are now maxed out. And over here at the post processing filter, you can set your default filter as well. So once you're done with the video settings, do the same with the CSP. Drop and drag, apply and save. And go into the CSP tab over here as well. Make sure that extension is enabled. Now join a solo game or go online and then put your mouse all the way to the right side of the screen and a little sidebar should pop up and click on pure config. And it's also very important that you click both of these buttons. You get a reset pure and you get a reset to defaults as well. Make sure you do both of these things and make sure you save as well. Reset and save boys. And on the PP filter, make sure you reset this one as well. Save again just in case. I don't suggest messing around with those if you don't know what you're doing. But if you know what you're doing, you can adjust over here. And then again, you get a save once more. Saturation, brightness, contrast. If you slide these around, your filters will change. So this is up to you if you want to mess around. And if you do mess up, you can reset everything once again. And it's not mandatory to get SOL anymore nowadays. But if you do have SOL planner... Then it's a nice way to just change the daytime if you want. If you turn it off some nighttime, you can put it on daytime. And for example, if it's too bright for you, just use a different filter. This mod pack does come with nine filters included. Some are probably better at nighttime, some better at daytime. Up to you. Test around. And if you have any suggestions or whatever, you can go into our Discord. We have a Patreon section over here. This Patreon section in our Discord is only visible to the people who have subscribed on Patreon. This way, Discord will know if you have the Patreon subscription. If you have any questions, go into the help channel. Mods will help you out. And by the way, it is very important that you do have the latest pure CSP and content manager as well. Latest. If those are outdated, the filters won't work. And SOL is not required if you have the latest pure. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy your new graphics. Peace.